Okay, quick review of Mirage Man, which I have finished by Mark Pilkington. Um, Mark Pilkington is someone who is involved in the UFO world and to some degree. He's kind of a skeptic and a believer, alternately. Um, he was part of, I believe, crop circle making in Britain, so he knew all about that and knew how fake all that was. So he gets involved in, they're going to make a documentary on this uh, particular person in the UFO world named Richard Doty or Dotty. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this particular guy keeps popping up over and over and over. And he keeps popping up in relation to the fact that he seems like he has CIA connections and all sorts of things, but he also claims he's a true believer. He was very much involved in a, a misinformation, disinformation campaign that uh, had to do with sort of pushing certain ufologists uh, off the edge when it came to certain information that he was claiming that there was this whole um, situation with this place called Serpico and this, he was getting information about it and it was a whole planet and we'd had some sort of uh, exchange program basically made there. And they keep bringing up this one particular man named Paul Benowitz who had worked for the government at some, he was a physicist and had gotten involved in UFO stuff. And Richard Doty kept feeding this guy information and kept giving him more and more sort of paranoid stuff. And this man eventually had a nervous breakdown. It ruined his family, ruined his whole career, ruined a lot of things. And he's now kind of considered um, not a fanatic, kind of worse than that. He's, con he's sort of considered a crackpot even in the UFO community when it comes to what sort of happened with him. And Richard Doty was, Doty was very involved in all of that um, misinformation and feeding all that misinformation to different people. So Pilkington is sort of dealing with Doty, and he doesn't necessarily dislike Doty at all. He actually says he likes him, but there's a level of distrust there and paranoia, and they're interviewing him because they are making a documentary, and they start talking about uh, another friend of his who's becoming more and more becoming a star in the UFO world at this particular point in time and he's starting to get different messages and different things that are sort of paranoid and related to the CIA and Pilkington is having people saying that he's an MI6 agent. It's all sort of really crazy almost thriller-esque stuff but I don't doubt that it's happening with all of this and the the strange thing with this book and why I alternately liked it, but then also there was some stuff towards the end that you're just like, eh, there, there, there's no definitive answer to anything. Even Pilkington's not sure. He kind of falls in between, like I said, a believer and a skeptic where he's talking about different stuff. He is more, more inclined to think that the CIA and different military intelligence has a lot of times been feeding out misinformation either as a sounding board to see if other countries will bite and maybe react to different things. Uh, sometimes it seems to be that it's to muddy the waters about our own um, research that we're doing into black weapons and, and black ops and different things. That doesn't explain everything, though, and he even kind of says that doesn't explain everything uh, when it comes down to it. So even he's not necessarily sure, and the more people he meets, they really seem to believe what they're talking about, and these are high-ranking people um, a lot of times. So he's even a little like, well, I don't know, but he also talks about the more you're involved in this world of paranoia and Alternately, something that I've even noticed is the fact that, on the one hand, people in UFO circles distrust the government completely, and it, it's very much like the X-Files when it comes to that sort of thing, and, and you don't trust the government, and they're lying to you, and that's the idea. But they're also completely believing things that are supposed to be uh, leaked out by the government, or government people have, you know, they didn't know, and they put that out there, and it's a, this is a secret file. So you alternately have this weird situation of them 
disbelieving everything the government says and also expecting the government to have the gospel truth on some things. So it's a really weird sort of juxtaposition that people in the UFO community are in. And that's more what Pilkington is focusing on than anything else because he keeps sort of saying that this this world that you're in becomes the sort of sounding board of crazy and in sort of an echo chamber. And the more you're in it, he even talks about it, the more he's in it, the more he starts even thinking things might be real that he would not have considered beforehand. And that's sort of what's going on. His argument is the fact that he feels that the government is involved in parsing some of this stuff out just to keep things that muddy and to keep people paranoid. And if people are feeling that these ufologists are crackpots, um, if you're watching Ancient Aliens and you have the guy with the crazy hair on it, um, you are going to be, if you're a reputable news company, you're going to be less inclined to believe stuff that might actually be testing and different things that they're doing out in these different locations that are supposed to be associated with UFOs. So he says there probably is a reason behind that. That's more what he's inclined to think. But whether any of this has to actually do with intelligent life on other planets... He's not sure. He he's he keeps an open mind about it, he says, with the whole thing. So this book is alternately, you keep wanting an answer. I think that's the problem with it that I had. It was fascinating, but you did keep want, you kept wanting an ultimate answer, and there is none. And at Pilkington doesn't have one, and is sort of along the lines that he doesn't think there ever will be one at any point, because this is the government kind of even fooling itself, different branches of the government um, tricking each other in, in different things because they're, they're not always on the same page about even stuff within them themselves. So it's a good book. Uh, it's a bit frustrating because there is no actual conclusion. Um, I'm about to read another book that has to do kind of with this sort of thing that's a little more from... I believe it's a little more skeptical bent in things called Dreamland. It's about 10 years older than Mirage Men is, but it's the same sort of idea of being involved in this world of the paranoia and the ufologists and all this sort of stuff with the counteragents and espionage and black ops weapons and aliens. And it's just kind of crazy. I'm not necessarily that interested in UFOs or anything like that. When I mean when I read paranormal stuff and different things like that, UFOs are not really my particular favorite. Uh, but this particular book is very good just because it goes into the sort of craziness around what believing this sort of stuff leads to and the things that are involved in all of this. So I, I do recommend this book a great deal. Just expect to be frustrated in the end because there is no ultimate answer.